Are you a rich dude from New Jersey who wants to buy really cheap-ass real estate? If so, you might want to watch this show. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. What's up, folks? This is the MLS Search and Analysis Show. You are watching Holton Wise TV. I'm James Wise. I'm your host. That's Steve Wise. He's behind the camera busting out all those angles for you. What up, Steve? What's going on, James? Oh, you know. You know. Give me some more energy, dog. Give me some more energy, man. You're yeah, pumped. Pumped. Our money. We are pumped to work with you, brother. Right, folks? Our money. He's a wealthy cat out of Jersey, right? So... If that uh, key word uh, that we put up there about rich guys in New Jersey and the beginning uh, of the video, the little teaser there, got a bunch of other rich dudes in New Jersey interested in what uh, our money's got going on, man. Stick around because we are talking about investing some of our money's money into the low-cost rental real estate market of Cleveland, Ohio. My team, through videos like this, help guys like our money and other wealthy and not wealthy investors from all over the world. New Jersey, California, whatever, man. Despite popular belief, guys, you actually don't need to be an incredibly wealthy person to invest in real estate, right? It's all about the financing. As a matter of fact, the property I'm going to be looking at for our money today, he's going to be able to do this deal with under $25,000 in cash, right? I mean, what is that? It's like... I don't know, probably like a Kia or like a Hyundai Elantra or something something like that, right? So that's what we do. Our money, you shot me this deal, and uh, people have been pretty interested in this one. I had uh, other investors who also looked at this deal thus far. Nobody um, <clears throat> has gone the distance and made a move on the deal. Uh, I think the reason you're really excited about this deal and why so many of my other investors have been excited about this deal uh, is the rent roll, which I definitely talked about at length in this footage. So check this out. 3857 West 37, Cleveland. All right. I like this one quite a bit uh, because of the big ass rents. But that's where our due diligence comes in, okay? One unit's a 4-1 at 950. The other unit is a 3-1 at 8. So that's 1750, 21,000. Just looking at the numbers, uh, just assuming you're going to pay lists because you're going to have to pay lists for this. I don't necessarily agree with the exact rent roll here. I'll get into that. But just going off of the existing numbers, 21,000 comes in. I anticipate you'll spend 9.5, giving you an NOI of 11,314. You buy it at the list price with a traditional loan. You put down 24. Bank gives you 72. It's going to look to be a 32% cash on cash return with an 11.7 cap. That's why you'd have to pay list. Makes a lot of sense, right? But we got to dig a little bit deeper, okay? Just from uh, looking at it as like the rent to price ratio, fuck yeah, dude. Do the deal. 32%, right? As far as our photos go, it is huge. A uh, huge empty basement, totally old property, uh, but you got the newer mechanicals, right? The newer hot water tanks, that looks good. That's probably like a 20-year-old furnace. Uh, furnace costs about three grand to replace, okay? And then just other shots of the house, right? So nothing major there. But like where I do have kind of an issue is is with this 950. Now, the 3-1 at 8, totally fine, totally agreeable, totally cool. With Section 8 tenant, we'll get that $800 uh, with the three-bedroom voucher all day. I'm assuming this is also a Section 8 tenant. In uh, the high, the rent would be high because it's going to be four beds, four bedroom voucher. But dude, I've been doing this a long time, and on a single family home, yeah. But like for a duplex like this, uh, that feels inflated to me. Okay, uh, does that mean that I'm accusing the seller of making it up? No, not at all, brother. But there are things that you can accomplish. Yes. But then there are also things you can accomplish with uh, regularity. I don't want you to be like, oh, okay, we got a rent roll of 8 and 950 and then just assume for the rest of your ownership of this investment, if you were to buy it, we would always place a 10 in there at 950 I don't see that being the case, bro. That seems like a one-off situation. Lenders, our investors are looking to work with you. Send us an email at sales at holtonwise.com to be part of our referral network. Sometimes, you know, you get random landlords 
uh, who ended up with like just one off tenants and they just wanted to, they were willing to pay more, but that's not replicable, man. Like you can't just go in with the expectation that you're always going to do that. So I believe the 950, if we're digging deeper into this investment is a little, is a little high. I, I think four bedroom, I think we'll probably be about 75 bucks less, like 875, right? Cause it's still a duplex, maybe even 850, 850 to 875 is where I believe uh, you will see on subsequent turnovers, right? I think that's where you're going to be at. Now, if you run the numbers, uh, you're still going to be hitting a hell of a high cash flow, okay? And who's to say when that turnover does occur, right? So I don't think uh, that you can go less than the 96.9. I still think that's the right price, but I want you to know that the money coming in right now, it feels a little fool's goldy to me, right? I just, I need you to know that I think your rent roll you know, on a replicable basis is probably slightly lower. All right, our money. let me know, brother. Let me know your thoughts. Now, do I think that, like, it's not a good deal to do? No, I still think it's a good deal. But, uh, you know, just going forward, I wanted to make sure you understood that I don't think the deal is necessarily as hot as the listing agent specifically is making it seem. And I'm not accusing the listing agent of anything nefarious. Here's the deal. If I'm a seller, I hire an agent. That agent's job is to work for me, to sell my property, make my property look banging, right? If I'm our money, I hire Jay Wise. Jay Wise's job is to help me out, give me all the information, right? I don't owe the seller anything, right? I don't work for that seller. I work for you, and that's why people just like you, our money, shoot my team an email, sales at HoltonWeiss.com. They give us their phone number. We call them and we talk to them about their investment criteria, their plan of attack, their budget, and we try to place them into the right properties at the right price at the right time with the right financing, with the right information so you know what to do. So, our money, I know me and you are shooting videos and properties back and forth. Uh, I think you're doing like 20, 20 with us, right? We're going to build you a big old portfolio out here. So uh, this was another one that you liked. So those are my thoughts on it, brother. But as always, it's up to you, dude. I'm not going to I'm not gonna say you got to do it or don't do the deal, man. I just want you to have all the information at your disposal so you can make an informed decision. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.